But I have some hypothetical questions. Go ahead. Let's say you were in a long term relationship. Okay. Currently or in the future or whatever. Like Star was saying, would you be okay hypothetically if if your partner, your girlfriend had a male best friend? I have a female best friend. I'd be fine with that. I don't think there's a problem with that. I, it's more so trust for me. You know, if I ever have to question the trust or I don't trust her, I think that's more so the issue. But her That's having, what I, to, I told yeah, Julian that. Or having a female uh, male be- best friend, what does that mean? I okay, don't th- as I'm long against as I don't that. No, she, she's against it. Oh, well, as long as I feel they're not doing anything and I trust her, I mean, but, there's no Okay, problem. but so here's my question for you. You're saying as long as you feel... Now, when you're with somebody long term, sometimes you feelings feel get distorted and not just the long term. Remember, we're all raised differently. So, for example, some people see if you're Hispanic kissing on the side of the cheek, that's normal. Now, if I'm dating a nigga from Pompano, he don't realize <laughs> oh a Hispanic, he said, oh my God. And a Hispanic he, he don't realize I was raised by Spanish people because I just look like a black girl. Every nigga I meet, hola. The fuck is you kissing niggas for? That you said that's your best friend. Why are you kissing him? Here's the thing, I have a female mm-hmm. best best friend. Mm-hmm. Any girl I talk to, can I ask if if y'all you, are platonic? Yeah, go ahead. After any 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 girl I talk to has to be okay with that, and any guy she talks to has to be okay with that. To the point where she'll even introduce me to them. We become friends. Okay, are we platonic? Absolutely. So I'll tell you this. In college, I had another female best friend. You actually know who it is. But um, she's married now. But in college, I had a female best friend. And I learned... Stay on top I learned the boundaries. <laughs> I learned the boundaries that are required in order for men and women to be best friends. Okay. Right? No. And this hold is on. what he's I was about, saying. He's about to, he's about about to me, listen. Let me okay. break it down. Break it down. Here's the difference. My current female best friend right now, from the inception of our relationship, we were always best friends. I never tried to get at her. It wasn't anything like that. The best female friend I had in college, I tried to get at her. She turned me down, and then I was forced to be friends. And it was by force. It was a relationship. Yeah, and now we were literally platonic for like three years, but it then built up into something more. And and for me, on my part, because it it was was, built off of like it was always that I wanted her, but I was you just playing your part exactly, you know. And then we did stuff like we called each other best friends, but you know we would. We would cross some boundaries. Not that to say we would do anything, but we were just too comfortable. And like, see, yeah. my best friend now, like, she can't change in front of me. I'm not gonna change in front of her. Like, Yo, I'm not, that's like, crazy. Like, the, she, the I'm way, compatible with Virgos. No, that's but, why he. Here, no, here's the thing. So the way, if it's a female best friend or a female, uh, a male best friend, it got to be like brother and sister. Like my sister can't change in front of me. I'm not gonna be in the okay. city. Like okay, my see not that. Be- see that's the weird part. This this where you lost me. Hmm. This is what I was saying in the conversation. I'm, I was, I'm on point. With, with what I was saying. saying. I was saying this. I said the reason why I feel like men and women cannot be friends is not off the basis that they can't be friends, but the friendship is never going to be the same. Like as what your friendship with like your friendship with Julian. Let's say Julian was your best friend. That's not true. My female best friend, I see her as the homie. No, 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 no. Can you listen? When I say the friendship is never going to be the same, it's little things like you're saying. There's boundaries in a female best friendship. There are fewer boundaries in a male best friendship because attraction is not an option unless you're gay. And if you're not gay, the attraction factor is not there. So if y'all change in the same room, it's not a thing. There are no less boundaries than that of a sibling, though. No, because I change in front of my boy cousin. Like, I don't, maybe we're just poor and it wasn't enough room in the house. I don't know. You know, you know, it's different. You're not about to be butt booty naked changing with your brother in the room. Okay, but like, this is where I say, this, this <laughs> unless is, you do that. No, but this is where <laughs> I say, this is where I say how people are raised come into play. I personally don't do that, but I know a girl, she's from Palm Beach, but her family's Italian. <laughs> you're, you, listen, you're no, using listen. Outliers, like we're listen, talking about majority. Okay. No, listen, I'm just saying. We can speak on majority of what we know, but I'm just saying people come into contact with all different types so of people. So let's talk about what we know. You know, no, but it's not fair because we have naked. viewers. You I know do. Who I do. Naked in front of I their do siblings. know. I do know a girl like that, and she was defending her life on Instagram, and I was like, "Girl, but why? Why you got to be naked in front of your brother? Like, does it matter?" And she was saying, "That's the problem. The way I'm raised, and the way y'all raised, we and don't think nothing's people, wrong." You know, you know a lot of people like that. No, exactly. But if so, you meet if you meet a person like that, I wouldn't want your relationship to be ruined. But you're using an exception and trying to justify it mm-hmm. for the whole. That's I am. Not the, I am. That's, yeah, but because that's there's the, lots of exceptions so, in the so, world. Okay, but that's not the reality of the majority. of the Actually, situation. how can we say that's not the reality of the majority? Do you because know the majority? They're, they're, no, but look, yeah, majority of people do not do that. Do you know them? 
get much Would you like to take a survey around the world or in America you know or what? Find, you know what you are find, the stats you know, you're speaking on? The you majority know how you of find whom? The majority, you take a sample size. Mm -hmm. For example, let's say who's the have, sample? Let's say we ask ten people. Everybody you know, everybody you mm -hmm. know, everybody I know. Like you just said, you know a few people. I know a few people. How many people do you know? Oh, you get it passionate. So we hear it in your voice. Yeah, so that mm -hmm. becomes the majority. Okay, well I'm talking about the majority in the world. I'm talking about the majority in the world. The majority in the big wide world that we all have access to, thanks to Instagram and all of that. So all I'm just saying is, outside of getting naked, I don't know how you feel about this with your best friend, but something I pointed out to Julian. When I'm single, I could chill with the homies till like three in the morning. Like y'all playing video games, we're just chilling, eating, talking shit, whatever. But if I'm in a relationship, I know my boyfriend is not going to like that. Would your girlfriend approve of you hanging out with your best friend? Yes. Oh. Yeah, that's not I mean. I don't see it as a... It depends what your relationship is. We've always been platonic. She's literally like... The I don't care if you're that platonic. You're not hanging out with Susie at 3 a.m. That would be a problem if you were my girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs>